let's look at the four-time world champion, the reigning World Cup champion, world number one, Jessica Fox of Australia is on course. Yeah, I think she will show an impressive lang uh, run like she did yesterday in K1. Um, she collected a lot of confidence yesterday, I think, and she knows what to do. Winning so many races, I think she, she exactly, exactly knows um, how to, to race this final. She does indeed, and look at that, 3.78. She's found time at the top. Well, we know you don't normally win the race at the top, but certainly she's put herself in great shape to uh, be able to not just go into the top of the leaderboard, but put the pressure on Kimberly Wood still to come in this final. So Jessica Fox of Australia now through 15, now into 16. This is the bit where she's got to control her bows under the upstream gate. And uh, it looked like she had to do drop a little bit low just to make sure she didn't take the penalty. Yeah, but she, she's keeping the speed and we know Jess is, oh, there was a slight touch, but we know Jess um, is very farther, fast and she's getting faster with the run, um, which is very impressive to see always. So, um, yeah, I think she will, she will pull down a, a very fast bottom as well. I would agree. And uh, Jessica Fox, uh, she is up on the race leader, Teresa Fisarova of the Czech Republic. And of course, Teresa was not solid on this section. She wasn't as good as she could be on 24. But Jessica Fox is in trouble, has to work hard there to get in. And uh, well, great recovery there. She was well out of shape. Yeah, but um, here comes the, <laughs> comes the 114 time, I think. And uh, even faster raw time, yeah. Look wow. at that, wow. 113.95, and that includes a two-second penalty. Jessica Fox of Australia smashes the race lead with a uh, 113.95. Again, another outstanding run, just like she was in the final in the women's K1. Jessica Fox, her season has taken a little bit of time to get going, but it's coming together just in time for those world championships. Oh, yeah, after last season, I think it's hard to to um, to do again a season like she had last year but um, she's still showing what she can do on every race and um, just because she's not winning every race maybe I think she's still the, the best character you have, we have out there well outstanding and that run will have confirmed her win in the overall World Cup because uh, well it was really reliant on her having a poor performance to allow anyone else to get in and, uh, and get ahead so well done to Jess. here's the results Jessica Fox takes the gold and hopefully we can have a chat with Jessica down at the finish line. There it is, the Fox symbol because it's Jessica Fox who has won the World Cup title for the entire year plus today, Jess, but that was a tough run. Yeah, it was a really tough run, um, really charged the whole way down because I had a couple of time losses so I uh, yeah that sprint to the finish absolutely killed me and it was so close um, Kim had a great run as well and and Teresa so um, yeah look really pleased to, to finish this way the C1 has been your event for so long does it mean a lot for you to retain that overall world title plus finish the season off with another win yeah look it does I think every year I'm looking to try and be consistent and and um, the girls are getting really fast really strong really consistent and we've had some amazing finals this year and, and different winners at a lot of the World Cups so um, look I think the the level just keeps getting better and better and I've got to try and keep getting better and better and it's it's really hard and and I'm really pleased when I can pull off a run and and take the win obviously congratulations Jess well done thank you, thank you. Well, there we have it, the standings of the uh, overall World Cup. Jessica Fox takes the World Cup title for 2019. Anna Satila takes the silver for Brazil. And it is Teresa Fisarova of the Czech Republic who comes through in third place. And, uh, well, 